Hi, my name is Tina Zillman. I'm the director for Skin Rejuvenation Clinic and the founder and developer for Advanced Rejuvenating Concept Skincare Products. Chemical peels are really underrated. There's a lot of new equipment coming out that says they rejuvenate the skin, make the skin fresh, make the skin smooth, reduce wrinkles, but really chemical peels do all of that. Some of the stuff that we see on the internet tends to be more dramatic. The heavy peeling, the discoloration that happens from peels. Peels have actually been around for a very long time. They help smooth the skin, soften the skin, and give an overall texture that you can't get from a lot of different treatments that you do. Peels are very beneficial, so really consider them when you're looking at your arsenal of skincare. Another thing, when you are doing a peel, I will have patients and clients jump out of the bed because they'll go, I don't want to peel. Peel just means exfoliation. Exfoliation can be a lot of different things, from the tiny cells that slough off to actual physical peeling. And we're going to take you through all those types of peels today. But peels don't have to be physically peeling peels. A lot of what we're going to teach you today is going to be how to use peels to just soften and smooth the skin out without any downtime. Makeup can be worn right away and the skin just looks fresh and smooth. They have no downtime. I'm really applying the peel to avoid the eye area, so I'm never running the brush over the eye area. Always going around the skin. And last into the nose and T-zone area where the sensitivity occurs a little bit quicker than the outskirts. Anything left over, I'm gonna go ahead and run down her neck and into our decollete. You know, too many times we find that we peel the face and there's a big difference here, but down through here, they have all the damage. So this actually shows when they wear their V-necks or any low cut shirt. So we want her neck to look good as well. So we're gonna peel that as well. I'm basically just tapping to take her mind off any of the kind of tiny little ant biting that she might be feeling. I'm also feeling for the skin. If you massage this into the skin, it's gonna go deep. So you have to watch it so they don't get very sensitive. So it's just a tapping motion that I do and a little bit of a slide. And the reason why is I'm looking to see maybe where her skin's still rough and where her skin's real smooth. Where it's real smooth, I know the peel is doing its job and exfoliating. Where it's rough, I'm gonna leave it there just a little bit longer. You can get all the way up underneath the eye area here. You just want to avoid the eyelid itself. And if they have permanent makeup on their brows, you want to avoid that area too because it does tend to eat away skin cell which will actually soften any type of permanent makeup. If they have earrings, if they have nose rings, you want to make sure that they take all that off because you don't want to get the acid in there because the acid will actually eat a little, eat away a little bit at those holes or those piercings in the skin. So we're gonna gently take it off, keeping in mind her skin's a little sensitive at this time, so you don't wanna to be too rough with the sponges. You wanna be very thorough in removing this peel. A lot of times it'll get stuck here, up in the nostril area, um, or the sides of the nose, and then you'll get some crusting in those areas. Re-cleansing the skin will neutralize the peel. We don't have to use fancy neutralize solutions. Water will do just fine. And I am using the melanin cleanser on Christina's skin because that helps brighten the skin. It's got a little colgic acid in it, which will just keep the skin nice and bright as it suppresses the pigmentation and melanocytes in the skin. Christina's skin's in great shape. You're gonna see this flushing, tiny bit of redness to the skin. This is exactly what you want after a peel treatment. 
That's the exact coloration. Some people ask how long to leave the peel on. You know, one to two minutes is what we suggest because it is a, a lower pH and it's not buffered. But really you need to watch the skin. You need to watch for redness. You need to watch for anything that has to do with frosting. And hopefully we don't see frosting on this video because frosting is over processing of the skin with any of our alpha hydroxies. Our beta hydroxies will frost, but our alpha hydroxies should not frost. Christina's skin is good. Any burning or stinging anywhere on your skin? No. Okay. Now we're just going to look at the skin. We're going to start by dermaplaning the skin. We're going to use the Fido Soothing Cleanser. It's a creamy, non-foaming, white cream cleanser. And this is going to help us with removing of the, the light vellus hair. Hold at an angle, hold the skin taut. Extractions can be done at this point. Or we can move right into the ultrasonic machine. Ultrasonic will actually help. I'm gonna do a deep clean mode just to kind of stimulate some of these cells um, to shed off just a little bit more and to shake the follicle so the blackheads and whiteheads remove very easily when you do the extraction. I'm going to use sponge, water, and the spatula to do the exfoliation. The sponge doesn't have to be sopping wet, but it has to have enough water on there to actually cause the spatula and the water to whirl. What it does is it, it uses the sound, speeds up the, the water and the exfoliation. It does it by 27,000 pulses per second coming off this head to actually cause that kind of steam that you see coming off. But what that is is actually dead skin and the water that's coming off. Now we're going to move into extractions. So extractions are great to do now because the skin is softened and the follicle is all shook up. So what I'm doing is a little clarifying toner. Now be very careful with skin with clarifying toner. It has a salicylic acid to it. So I usually use this on someone that has a lot of acne um, or acneic kind of lesions on them. On a drier skin, you might want to use the fruit sign conditioner versus the toner. And the only reason I'm saying that is it just depends on how sensitive the skin is. I believe in actually extracting with fingertips and cotton. I do use devices such as the comedone extractor, but mostly in the ears or around the nose. Christina's got a few areas that we'll have to lance. But for now, we'll just go through and clean the pores. I get a lot of questions on how do I extract on the nose area. Remember never to push down on the nose area or never block the, the, the air passage um, or the airway on the nose area. So it's about lifting the corner and gently sliding down at the top, not closing off her airway. And it's about lifting up versus pressing down on the nose. When you press down on the nose, it becomes very uncomfortable and you want them to come back, so you don't want them to be scared to get extractions. And by no means should your hands be shaking because you're putting so much pressure on that, that, that blemish. If you have to put pressure on a blemish, you need to extract it with, um, you need to open that pore up with a, um, a lance. Christina's pores are nice and clean. She does have a few little 
white heads in here that we'll go ahead and extract with the lance. I don't like to use the blood lances. I like to use something with a little tip on it so it doesn't scar the skin. These little needles work really well. So I'm going to go right into... You don't want this to be uncomfortable or painful, but if you go right into the pore itself, it's usually pretty tolerable. These are little tiny milias, and milias just come out like one little hard ball. They have to be lanced. You cannot sit there and press on them without bruising the skin. They're usually just a little white head. You slice along the way, and then you just pop it out. And go after it fully. If you don't get all of the core and the little tiny root, it will actually fester up and she will have a big bump there the next day. And you do not want people to say, every time I get a facial, I get more breakouts. Again, no nice way to get these out. You just have to slice at the base and remove. going to put a little cotton here and that's just going to stop those little areas. By the end of the facial you won't even notice that I did anything on her skin. Notice if I have blood, I'm just moving the cotton. There we go. You could actually hear the little pop of that little seed coming, coming out. Those are little hard sebum areas. They form a little tiny ball. They're known as what's called a milia. You have to get them out completely. Like I said, don't sit there and play with them because they will get larger. Um, you m mainly find them around the cheeks or around the eyes. It's just genetic that some people have them more than others. Now we're going to start by high frequency in the skin. This will disinfect any of the areas and also oxygenate the skin at the same time. Sometimes these don't move real nicely on the skin and if you lift up they automatically shock the skin. We have the red one here for rejuvenation. So I'm going to put a little bit of Rest and Restore on her skin. This is just a little hyaluronic acid. You need about the top of a Q-tip amount. And that's going to offer me some slip and slide. I'm just going to put it there, and then I'm going to move it around the skin. Where I cleaned, I'm going to direct spark, which is just tapping those areas get a little more disinfected but this is great for oxygenating the skin lifting and toning the skin this is a great treatment if you start to stick again while moving this piece 
of glass around the skin. Just lift off and use a little bit more of your Rest and Restore. Again, that's just hyaluronic gel, so it's like a drink of water you're giving to the skin. And then return. Notice I'm putting my finger on it first, and that's to take the energy into my body instead of shocking her. This high frequency device comes with several different heads, one being blue to disinfect if you have a lot of acne, the red to stimulate. We do sell these for home use, and we suggest that clients use those if they have a lot of problems with, um, with acne or even their youth, their children, if they have a lot of um, breakouts, blemishes, this helps with that. But also, we've noticed that clients like it just to give a nice rejuvenating lift to the skin. Use it once a day after you cleanse. Okay, she is done. We've disinfected everything. I'm going to lift off. I'm going to take this head off because I'm going to disinfect that. Just leave it here. Look at that glow on her skin. And that is just from the peel. Not any fancy equipment or machines. I mean, we did use the ultrasound just to deep clean her skin, but really that peel is what's giving us that nice glow to her skin. We're gonna move into the next step of the ultrasound. With this, we're gonna take and penetrate moisture into her skin. So this is where I'm gonna introduce a vitamin C to her skin and a hyaluronic acid gel. What that's gonna do is a couple of things. This is gonna have um, effect because it's gonna lymphatically drain any waste, toxins, and puffiness that she has in her skin. And two, it's gonna penetrate hyaluronic and an ester C, which is a fatty-based molecule, vitamin C. For this, I need about a nickel size. Too many times I come in and they're just slathered in Rest and Restore. That's about as much as you need for the whole face. Then I'm going to take some of my Opti-C and mix it right in my hand. That's about as much of the vitamin C that I want. Now with that, I'm going to just go ahead and lay this on the skin. Not massage it into the skin, just lay it on the skin because you're going to see the spatula do that. Again, I'm working on the last mode. I'm on the nutrition, and I'm going to turn the piece of the equipment on just by the handheld device here. You can see I'm working it over the lip area, and what this does is it helps these little tiny fine lines, um, like we call them lipstick bleed lines, um, and it also helps with the dry skin. So by doing the exfoliation, what I did first over the lip area, that helps take off that little chapped dry skin. Well now I'm penetrating moisture into the skin. Look at that nice glow to her skin. So her skin has had a drink of water. It's had a little bit of vitamin C put into it. She's glowing.
Christina doesn't have a fine line on her. Beautiful. And her lips, you can see the color. They're a little bit brighter, they're smoother, they're softer, and that's because of the hyaluronic acid that we put into there. So if, you, if I, get, I get calls all the time, can I do an eye treatment, can I do a lip treatment? So we just did a lip treatment. You could add a lip scrub to that, and then I'm gonna finish up with a lip moisturizer, but that's a lip treatment. And then we can do the same thing to the eye area too as well with some of the products I'll show you. We can do an eye treatment. So we can do express services as well with this treatment. Now we're gonna massage the skin. This chemical peel that we've done was a glycolic 30% acid treatment. I like to combine a dermatology grade chemical peel with a European facial. If you notice, I'm not using a steamer. The reason I'm not using a steamer is because the steam causes the skin to become sensitive. We have done everything with exfoliation through the peel and the ultrasound to actually exfoliate, open up the pores, make the skin more supple. And that's the same thing steam does, but steam actually adds an element of sensitivity. We're not doing that. So that way we can get more aggressive with her peel because that's where we know the results are. The results are never in a steam in the facial. So I'm gonna start on the shoulders and decollete. This just kind of calms them down. You've done extractions, you've worked around their skin. This just kind of puts them into a nice relaxed mode. Everybody has a stressful lifestyle. It's always good to get a little shoulder massage to relax. Everybody's gonna be a little bit different in their maneuvers. One thing that you really want and one thing that I teach um, a lot of the students is when you come out of school, you learn fingertip massage. You're gonna really wear your hands out. You wanna go ahead and put the whole hand into it. When you put the whole hand into it, you don't have to apply a lot of pressure because all of the pressure is coming from your whole hand. And so you don't have to wear out your hands Doing about six or eight of these a day can really tire one person out. So let me take it up to the base. The big thing too is I, we can get in our, our modes as well and get, we can be having a million things going through our head and I always yell at the girls that come in with their eye watches on because then their eye watches are going off and they're going like this as they're treating people. And that is just not good. This whole thing is about relaxing and treating your client. So. I always watch their eyes. If she's flickering and fluttering, then I'm being too rough or I'm, or, I'm, or I'm surprising her with the way I'm touching her. This way, I never let a hand off the face so she never has to anticipate me coming from another direction. So in your massage, make sure your flow is consistent and your hand, one hand never leaves the face or the area that you're massaging. It's the same with sponges. It's the same with the cotton when you're doing toner pads. You always want to make sure one hand stays on there. Okay, Christina is nice and relaxed and hydrated and she's got that great glow going on. Now my favorite mask, the 24 karat gold mask. This has hyaluronic acid in it and minerals to actually tone the skin and hydrate the skin. It's nice and cold when it goes on. The thing too you wanna to remember is when you put your mask on, be real swift and gentle with it only because they're relaxing. So you don't wanna make them kind of jump or come awake or not feel relaxed because you're sitting there dotting on their skin. Just use long strokes and apply the mask. This one's applied very thin. You can see that nice sheen, the hyaluronic acid and the gold. It's by far one of my favorite masks to use. Yeah. 
You automatically see the nice glow to her skin. Sometimes I like to leave a little bit of that gold fleck on there just because it just brightens the skin. But look, you can't even see where I've extracted her skin today. It looks nice and rejuvenated. It looks smooth and soft. The next mode that we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to the, the ultrasound because we're gonna go ahead and penetrate our amino peptides in and our wrinkle fighters. So um, wrinkle release is one of the most important parts of this treatment. Wrinkle release has 10% of the amino, the amino acid peptides. What they do is they help the contraction of the muscle and they just relax it. When you relax it, it looks softer, it looks smoother, and you don't have that wear down line in the expression lines. So either crow's feet, glabella, and of course here around the mouth. We've already done that treatment on her lips, but now we're gonna do a little bit more with the wrinkle release to finish up. You can put hyaluronic acid in here as well um, if you choose to. And you can mix a little bit of hyaluronic, but her skin looks great. It's very moisturized. So we're just gonna go ahead and do these areas. Again, not massaging that cream in. I'm gonna hit that last mode, which is the erase wrinkle mode. I'm gonna turn my spatula this way, and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and penetrate the product into the skin. Notice I'm doing a little lifting. This actually, this last mode has some heat to it. Next, we're gonna do the eyebrow lift. This is gonna be pretty neat. You wanna stay right on this bone area. You don't wanna ever go onto the lid or the soft tissue. So I'm gonna stay right on that brow area. It doesn't matter if they have permanent makeup or not because what you're doing is you're just penetrating in product. But what we're gonna do is see her eyebrow actually lift. So I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure. can see the difference between this side and this side just in one treatment. And see that motion where we're kind of picking that up? Nobody likes those frown lines. So what we're doing is we're causing the skin to heat up and we're tightening that skin. So we're, we're, making, it, we're making that skin kind of lift and tighten. So that's that, that mode that I'm doing. And then you see me finish it off with the sweep. We've been doing ultrasonic treatments, especially with the ARC ultrasonic skin device for over 
20 years on the skin. This is one of our most requested treatment. So I suggest besides peels being in your arsenal, one of these units also, even over a microdermabrasion unit, I find I don't even use the microdermabrasion unit as much as I use the ultrasonic because you can use it from everything from acne, combination skin, congested skin, to a, an actual dry skin that wants to be rejuvenated. So this is how pretty her skin looks. Nice and glowing. That's exactly what peels do for the skin. Then we're gonna finish up by doing some sunscreen. Remember, sun sensitivity. She'll be sun sensitive right now for about 48 hours. So she will not use any of her retinal products her alpha hydroxy products that she uses at home. She'll avoid those for about 48 hours. And also working out, she doesn't want to work out today. Tomorrow would be fine. And um, another thing that I find that clients like to do after they get a, a facial treatment, which I cannot believe, is they go out and garden or they go out into their, um, or go outside. And you really want to put a large hat on and really not want to sweat because the skin is so stimulated. You see that nice redness to the skin. Blood flow is to the surface, which is bringing oxygen to the skin. Um, so the skin is very sun sensitive right now and heat sensitive. So you just want to avoid hot water, jacuzzis, and sun exposure for about 24 hours. Beautiful. We've done an eye treatment, a lip treatment, a whole all over skin treatment, and look, there's no peeling because all the dead skin cell actually was eaten off in the time of the service. So Christina should have no side effect and no peeling after this treatment, just really nice, hydrated, firm, tight skin.